Hello friends, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and today's video will be a little bit different because this is actually one of my very first pours which I created on Big Canvas. And it is also my very first video which I ever uploaded on YouTube, so I thought it might be helpful for some of you to see how I created this pour. I apologize for the quality of this video, but I just wanted to show you that not every time is a success. And when I started, I was a little bit foolish. I made loads of mistakes. I had no experience with painting and acrylic pouring. And finally, two years later, I finally feel confident enough to turn this pour into a special piece of art. So as you can see, I had these three cups on my canvas and later on you'll find out that I didn't have enough colors and I messed things up. So it's always important to measure the right amount of your colors so you've got enough to cover whole canvas. I also used ready-made pouring medium and it was quite expensive but it worked very well for me, it created nice cells. But later on I found out that I can actually create my own pouring medium from PVA glue and water and that worked well for me. It worked better because it was mm, less expensive and I still had the same result. I think in this pour I used four colors. It was thalo blue, thalo green, also some turquoise and baby blue and white which was my base color. I also put silicone oil in my colors. I think it was around two or three drops of silicone oil. And I made these three flip cups on my canvas. And you can already see that won't be enough to cover the whole canvas, which was size 50 times 70 centimeters. So it was a big deal for me. And I actually felt quite sad after I finished this pour because it was total failure for me. I thought, oh, I just pour colors on my canvas and it will be easy. I will create masterpiece. But that didn't, but that didn't happen to me. I didn't have beginner's luck. I had loads of failures before I started to like my pours. I also used this big gas torch which was actually quite dangerous i didn't know anything about that i was i was very foolish if you start i recommend buying heat gun which is not um, not dangerous or you can buy this little torch which is used in cooking and that works well don't buy this big heat gun which can put everything on fire so as you can see, I started to add more and more colors on my canvas. So everything was covered with like splashes of colors. Some parts were nice, but I, I didn't like it. I just kept it out of nostalgia because I thought it, this is my very first pour. I don't want to check it away. So I kept it and soon you'll find out what I did with it. This is how it looked. Some parts were nice, but most of them were quite boring. Welcome back. After almost two years, I still have got my big first acrylic pour and I kept it out of nostalgia. Although I didn't like it, some parts were not really nice, but I liked bits and pieces. And now I finally have got enough confidence to turn this piece into amazing 3D looking Art. So you can see that I already draw some circles with my big bowls. I used my glass bowls, which I use in kitchen. And now I would like to use my smaller plastic cups to draw some smaller circles. And I would like to highlight these parts, which I like. And the rest of them will be covered in black. And... For my circles, I use just a simple whiteboard marker and the reason why I use this is that if I make a mistake, I can easily erase it and start again. So let's find these nice places. It looks like this could be a nice place and I will be layering my bubbles on the top of each other. Some of them will be on the top, some of them will be on the bottom. this part can you see this part that looks nice so here we go here i'll make my bubble
and I'll be also creating borders around my canvas so some bubbles will be on the top and some of them will be hidden under this border. It's important to find the right place for your bubble, so this seems like a good spot. And now I'm going to put this masking tape around these edges because I'd like to create a nice border. And it's time to paint some half circles which will be hidden underneath these borders. So I have to decide where I'd like to have them, these underneath circles. So this looks like a good place. Maybe some small one here. And these will be hidden underneath, so I will be creating some shades later on. So let's fill all these gaps with black acrylic color. Just put a little bit of black on my brush, which is size 11, but you can use whatever brush you prefer. This is just for filling these gaps with black. So firstly, as I said, I will need to create shades around the circles which will be underneath my border. And I start by shading my circle with black acrylic color. So I will make shade all around my circle. And I put my brush in water and create a nice shade. This is a pore, so the surface behaves a little bit differently than normal canvas. So you will have to figure it out how to blend this black color. But once you figure it out, you'll be able to create beautiful shades. That should be enough. And then I put my brush in my black color again and just create shade around, not around, but like here on the edge. Again, I put my brush in water and nicely blend it like this. This circle also will be underneath my border, so let's make shade all around this edge. These three also will be underneath my border, so I start with making shades around these circles time to take these tapes off i already created shades around all of these spheres which will be underneath so 
so some of them already looks beautiful like they are hiding behind these borders and now it's time to make all these spheres and now I'm going to create shades around all of my circles uh, with just black acrylic color I always put my brush in water and then put a little bit of that black acrylic color on my brush and go around my circle like this firstly half circle because I will be blending it and I don't want my my uh, color to get dry I need to blend it so you have to work quite quickly when you'll be doing this don't let the paint dry And then the other half. Nicely blended with your brush. I'm using brush size 11, but it's okay if you use different size. It depends on the size of your painting. This is quite big. It's um, 50 times 70 centimeters. So it's quite big but if you'll be doing smaller painting you can use smaller brush and that that black color is what's creating that 3d effect so it's already looking nice let's put a little bit more black here on the top like that and I also want to create shadow under under my bubble so I'm just gonna use a little bit of that black color to create shadow underneath my bubble yep that should be enough and now it's time to make the rest of them and always make sure you create nice shades around the top bubbles. And I'm also going to highlight these edges to make it pop with my white acrylic color. So I put a little bit of that white on my brush. And then put my brush in water and blend that edge. And the last part is painting reflections on my spheres and for, for that I'll just put a little bit of white acrylic color on my brush and I'm using bigger brush for bigger spheres and also smaller brush size 8 for smaller, smaller ones so I'll just paint this reflection like this and 
and then blend the bottom part that seems nice and now on a smaller one And let's also make a little reflection down here. It already looks like lots of beautiful planets. And I'll finish all of the spheres and show you the finished result. And this is the result of my very first acrylic pour, which I embellished two years later, and I love the result. I love this 3D effect inside of this pour. And although it was a failure at the beginning, I think now it became one of my most favorite pours which I created. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, Create With Me, and show us your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching. I'm shivering at the moment because it's freezing today. We had lots of snow again. And yeah, thank you very much for all your positivity and I wish you good luck with your amazing art. See you soon. Bye.